let's start it. We are gonna do shoulders and upper back with legs. So we are mixing up lower, upper, lower, upper kind of thing. So let's start with our warm up. Let's do some high kicks today to warm up our hamstrings. We are gonna need a pair of lighter weights for all the shoulder work and one heavier for all leg work. In four, three, two. Now let's go back and back kickers, forming up those hamstrings. And four, three, two, and stay right here. Grab your right one, true chip, and grab your left one, true chip. Let's stay right here. Open our legs wide, wide. Bend your right, reach to your right. Bend your left, reach to your left. And four, three, two, one more. And rest. Let's warm up our shoulders. So let's like shoulder level and up, squeezing your shoulder blades in, just to shoulder level and up. Squeeze it. Oh, my shoulder doesn't like it. <laughs> Five, four, three, two. Rest, open your legs, inhale. Reach it and bring it down. Warming up those shoulders and back. Two more. One more. And cross your right one. And bring it all the way back. And cross your right one all the way back. Four, three, two, and here, squat and press. And squat and press. Oh man, I'm so sore. <sighs> Stay down, drop it and drop it. Pressing those knees apart in four, three, two, and come up. Now let's do it with our left one to the front, to the back. And five. Keep your shoulders away from your ears. Four, three, two. And rest, okay. Let's bring your hands behind you, pull the shoulders away from your ear. Take your hands off your lower back, bend forward and bring your arms reaching forward. Stay bending forward, relax your hands, reach to your right, reach to your left. Two more. One more. Bend the knees and roll out. Okay, let's start it. Grab the heavy one for sumo squat. That means your knees and toes are going out, chest all along. You're gonna do 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off like we always do. And five, four, three, two, let's go. Keep that chest tall and you sink your hips towards knee level and come straight up. Using the back of your legs, your glutes to pull you straight up. Inhale, so. Hell, exhale. Hell, exhale. Nice. Perfect. Make sure your knees stay out. Don't let it drop your knees in. Here we go. 15 seconds to go. Engage your glutes as you come up. In five, four, Three, two, and rest. Nice, grab your light weights for reverse flies. So knee soft, bring your chest towards the floor and bring it all the way flat. Right there, knee soft, go, squish on the blades in. You wanna keep a long back. Inhale, exhale. Squeeze in shoulder blades in. Belly button is in. 
You can also place one in forward, one backwards if it helps you. Keep your shoulders away from your ears. Inhale, exhale. Fifteen seconds to go. Belly button in. Keep your chest point facing down towards the floor. And five, four, three, two, and rest. Oh, come up. And now grab your weight. We are gonna do courtesy lunges. So right leg stays forward. Left one goes back and crosses. Make sure you're reaching backwards as well. So this knee stays on top of your foot. Let's go. So the back knee fences and drops back. Like we normally do in a lunge, but this time you're crossing it. Chest up. Inhale, exhale. Ten seconds. Chest up all the way up every time. Bending the knees. One more time. And rest. Grab your light weights again. Like I said, we are gonna mix up and lower, up and lower. Flies this way now. Shoulders. If you can, stay on your right leg only to work more your balance. Let's go. Out and in. Inhale, exhale. Palms down, facing towards the floor. Inhale, exhale. Ten seconds, chest tall, shoulders away from your ears, abs engage. And four, three, two, rest. Nice. Go back on your heavy one. Corset lunges with your left leg. So left leg stays in front. Right one goes backwards. In three, two, let's go. And come all the way up. Chest tall, leaning on the outside of your left leg. All the way up, finishing with a tall and a strong posture. Inhale, exhale. 10 seconds. In five, four, three, two, and rest. Nice. Grab your leg once again. You're gonna stay on your left leg if you can, and your arms are gonna go to the front this time. Chest tall, hip forward. Three, two, let's go. To the front, back to your hip. Inhale, exhale. Nice. Fifteen seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Nice. Grab your heavy one again. The left, right leg. Left one is gonna be back in the air. Hip bones facing towards the floor. Shoulders back. Let's go. And, and come in. I really want you to think about what your left hip bone is doing. It should be pointing down towards the floor. We don't wanna go up towards the ceiling. 
If you need to bend your right knee more, go ahead and do it to have more length in your upper back. So it's long and tall. Beautiful. Yeah, Michaela, that looks great. All the way up every time. So make sure you engage those glutes as you come up, your shoulders back. Inhale, exhale. And three, two, and rest. Nice. Now we go in shoulder presses. So grab your leg once again. Knees soft because this way should be your light ones. We are gonna do shoulder presses this way. So bring it in, bring it out, press. Okay, 90 degrees, let's go. Bring it in, bring it out, press. Bring it in, bring it out, press. Make sure you're not leaning backwards. Your chest is tall, your knees are soft. Your hands should be slightly in front of your ears. So we don't all wanna Compress too much the shoulder by bringing your arms too far back. Inhale, exhale and press. Press, inhale, exhale, press. Press. And rest, nice. Now we are gonna do sumo squats again. We are gonna go slow down, fat up. So knees and toes out, shoulders away from your ear. You can always just do body weight, chest off, let's go. Down, 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 ho, fat up. One, two, three, four, five, up. And straight up, engaging those glutes. Make sure your knees are pointing out as you go down. So really engage the outside of your glutes. Bring it straight up. Straight up. One more time. And rest. Grab your weights, light ones. Last time. You're gonna go reverse flies one more time. This time, try to keep your palms backwards, okay? So knees soft, bend forward, squeeze shoulder blades in, holding the back, your palms facing backwards, but your arms go straight up still, up to the ceiling. Perfect, squeeze shoulder blades in. Woo, feeling it. Inhale, exhale. Really squeeze on the blades in. Try to not shrug. Try to keep those ears away. Hey, your shoulders away from your ears. Really, we are using the back of your shoulders and between your shoulder blades, squeeze in and do the job. In five, four, three, two, and rest. Woo. Now, last one, sumo. The opposite, slow up, fast down. Fast down, slow up. Ready, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, down hold. One, two, three, four, down hold. Nice, shoulders away from your ears. And down. Squeeze in those glutes. And down. Chest toe. Woo. 10 seconds. And five, four, three, two, rest. Stay right here with your weight. Stay left on the left leg. So right leg goes back, shoulders away from your ears. And remember your right hip bone pointing towards the floor. Let's go down and all the way up. Driving that hip forward, shoulders back, halves engaged, long, 
come all the way up. As you bend forward, your right hip is pointing down towards the floor. Nice. 15 seconds to go. All the way up every time. Shoulders back, squeeze your shoulder blades in to keep that back long as you bend forward. And rest. Nice, little quick water break. Are we getting on the floor? Get your mat and get your light weight. You're gonna need them. I'm gonna need only one, but you can have two if you want to. Quick water break. Okay, we are gonna start with a triangle, triangle plank, okay? So it starts with your hands direct underneath your shoulders. And we are gonna walk in a triangle and walk back in a plank. So you're not going all the way standing. So we add more shoulder work, let's do it. Hands direct underneath your shoulders. Walk, 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 push your heels down. Stay in a triangle and I walk back to a plank. And walk on a triangle pose. Push your heels down. Just reaching towards your knees. Go back in a plank. Abs engage, glutes engage. Walk in a triangle. Push your heels down. Walk it back. Plank. One more time. One more time. Push your heels down, chest reaching. Nice stretch, go back in a plank and rest. Nice, let's get on our stomach. I'm gonna show you so you don't have to look at me when you're on the floor. You're gonna keep your feet on the floor but your knees are off, so it's everything engaged. You're gonna raise your arms, shoulder level, reach behind you, back to shoulder level and back down. So every time you go backwards. Ready, let's go. Up, reach back. Back to forward, back down. Shoulder level, back, shoulder level, down. Keep your chin down, looking at the floor. Engage your glutes and lower back. This is a great postural movement. And let's squeeze your shoulder blades in. If you cannot reach your hands behind you, that's okay. Just reach as far as you can to add that mobility. One more. Keep your chin down and rest. Woo. Plank. We are gonna do a plank, full plank. We are gonna tap our shoulders, alternate it. So I'm really adding a lot of shoulder and back as we do in our core. Okay, get right in a plank. Hands direct underneath your shoulders. Tap it, tap it. Tap it. We try to keep our bottom part square, the less rocking the better. You can also do it on your knees. Same thing, your choice. Inhale, exhale, tap your shoulder, tap your shoulder. Inhale, exhale. Abs engage. Quite engaged and your glutes. That's gonna what is gonna stabilize your hip. In five, four, three, two, and rest. Nice. Go back on your stomach. And now we are gonna do the same Superman, but instead of reaching backwards, we are gonna reach forward. So you're gonna try to bring your arms all the way to the front. Okay, ready? Let's go. Reach forward and bring your shoulder level and bring it down. Up, reach forward, shoulder level and down. Make sure your feet are on the floor, your glutes are engaged, and you're using your upper back and lower back. Exhale, inhale. <sighs> Keep breathing, glutes engage. Your glutes are gonna assist your upper body. It's a great postural movement. 
three, two, and rest. Oh my goodness, I can definitely feel my hammer back already. Okay, little break, little break. Leg raises, so we're going to core. Arms resting to your sides, legs up, one leg at a time or together. Ready, let's go. Very important to try to keep your upper body relaxed. You only go as low as you can hold your back completely flat on the floor. If you feel it coming up, stop it there. Don't go as low, okay? Or you can do one leg at a time, excelling, inhaling with those abs engaged, pressing against the floor the whole time. 15 seconds. Exhale, inhale. And five, four, three, two, and rest. Nice. Now grab one of your lighter ones, and we are going to do the shoulder reach with the hip. So your arm, right arm goes to the side, your hips comes all the floor, and you bring it in. The key when you do this one is bend that elbow the whole time so you don't hurt your shoulder, okay? Don't overreach it. Ready? Let's go. So reach and reach, but keep that right elbow bent there. So you're reaching slightly in front of your ear and head. Don't overreach it or your shoulder's gonna hurt and bring it all the way in. Inhale, exhale, bring your hips all the way off the floor and roll on the left shoulder. So roll it on the left shoulder as you reach and you bring it back in. Engage those glutes. Another three, if you feel something in your shoulder, grab lighter, or maybe don't use weight at all. Just reach with your arms. And five, four, three, two, and rest. Crunches, hands behind your neck, chin off your chest. Ready, let's go, and up and down. Exhale, inhale, pressing your abs in, belly goes in. When you go down, think about not creating a gap between your lower back and the floor. So we wanna keep that core engaged the whole time. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. We are gonna add some pulses at the end and make sure your abs, your belly is pressing against the floor slightly the whole time. You ready? Let's go. And up, up, up. Nice. And five, four, three, two, and rest. Woo. Okay, grab the weight and we are going to do it on the other one. Left shoulder, hip, raise, bridge, and reach with your arm. Let's go. Again, make sure you keep the elbow bended. When you reach and you're not reaching too far away from your head and you're rolling on the right shoulder now. Engaging your glutes, pressing for your hamstrings. Inhale. The heavier your weight is, the more careful you need to be how far you reach, okay? You don't want to hurt our shoulders. It's good to work the back. This is a good exercise for the back of your shoulder. But safe comes first. And five, four, three, two, and rest. Nice. Now move. Move the, uh, the dumbbell to your right one. And we are gonna do is a sit up with two presses. If you can, don't sit up all the way, see half the way. So your core is still engaged. Okay, ready, let's go. Up, one, two, with your right arm every time. Exhale, one, two, bring it down. One, two. Nice, abs engage. <sighs> Put 
pressing the arm up to the ceiling. And five, four, three. Let's do the last one. And rest. Woo, feeling my arms. Okay. Place the weight on your hip or not. Look how we are going to do this time. You're going to lift your right leg up, bring it down, left leg. If you don't want to completely rest you on the floor, you can switch mid air, which will make it harder. Ready? Let's go. Up. You see, I'm not going completely down. Hovering the floor, come up, switch your leg, bring it higher. Exhale, inhale. Shoulders relax. We are focused on the back of our legs and glutes. So body weight on your heel. We are pressing from the back of our foot. Don't rest it all the way if you don't have to. And switch your leg and go all the way up. In five, four, three, two, and rest. Nice, grab it with your left one or last one. Sit up and press it with your left shoulder. In three, two, let's go. Half away, sit up. One, two, bring it down. Up half away. One, two. Make sure you're pressing up towards the ceiling. We add more core and we add more shoulder. One, two. One, two. Exhale, inhale. Ten seconds. One more time. And rest. Whew. Nice. Let's stretch our shoulders first. Man, I'm already feeling them. So let's do that puppy pose. It's great for stretching your upper back. So keep your hip on level with your knees. Bring your arms reaching forward and bring your chest down towards the floor. You're pressing your shoulders against towards the floor. Now cross your right one and then use your left one and stretch it. And stretch. Oh man, I'm definitely feeling it. Now let's get here and do the cow, pulling your shoulder blades away from each other. Couple times to release it. Four, three, two, one more time. Now bring your right toes under, bring your left toes under, push your heels down in the triangle pose and walk your hands towards your toes. Bring your hands behind you. We are reversing what we did in the warm up. Bring your arms up to the ceiling. Relax your hands. Bend the knees and roll up slow. Let's cross right arm in front. Whew. Reach your right toe forward. Stretching the hamstrings. Now bring it up and let's stretch our left one, shoulder down. Lean back and lift your left toe, reach it. Come up, last deep breath, inhale. And exhale. Thank you, good job. Man, I can feel my shoulders for sure. Mm. Right here. 